Exercise 19 asks us to take the information from the T accounts in Exercise 18 and prepare the journal entries. This is pretty easy because we already have the information and we already know whether it's a debit or a credit. So returning to Exercise 18, we see in letter A that we have a debit to cash, a debit to equipment, a debit to automobiles, and a credit to Bell's capital account. This was an investment by the owner. The journal entry was a debit to cash for 12000 a debit to equipment 15200 a debit to automobiles 24000 and a credit to Bell's capital account 51200 In letter B, we purchased insurance coverage, debiting prepaid insurance, and crediting cash. Our journal entry is a debit to prepaid insurance 4800 and a credit to cash. In letter C, we purchase supplies with cash, debiting office supplies 2000 and crediting cash. Our journal entry debits office supplies and credits cash for 2000 In letter D, we purchase supplies and equipment on credit. We see in the T accounts that we debited office supplies for 300 debited office equipment for 9700 and credited accounts payable for 10000 We parallel that in our journal entry debiting office supplies, debiting equipment, and crediting accounts payable. In letter E, we receive cash from a customer. In the T accounts, we see a debit to cash for 9000 and a credit to delivery services revenue. Debit cash and credit delivery services revenue. In letter F, we made payment on accounts payable. We see the debit to accounts payable 4600 and a credit to cash. Debit accounts payable and credit cash. And finally, in letter G, we paid for gas and oil, debiting gas and oil expense 820 and crediting cash. That's all there is to it.